Hello everyone, I am Neelakanta Bhanu Prakash and I am the fastest human calculator in the world. And here I am in front of you today making a few videos and giving you a quick sneak peek into how I do my calculations and how I do them as quick and uh, make you understand by juxtaposing the formal methods of uh, doing the same calculations and a slight variation to the same in how I think about the same question. And uh, what I want you to know is that this slight variation in how you calculate is uh, of fundamental relevance because of two reasons. One is that it makes you calculate quicker, obviously. And the other is that it makes you think and visualize numbers like you've never before. And this contributes towards the way in which you can speed think beyond what numbers are and will also help you in uh, visualizing a certain quantities better than ever before. So let me just get started. Let me just say hi, hi to you guys first. This is the first time I'm using um, this particular whiteboard software. So hey, and I hope this is going to be fun. I, I, I'm sure it will be because we'll be um, initially starting off by looking at the two methods and how they are fundamentally different from each other and also be discussing about how the latter method makes you think quicker and I'm, I'm going to be and, and the method which is going to be on the right side is going to be the method which I employ when I do my calculations. So let's start off with relatively easier uh, questions and we'll eventually make this uh, bigger and in, in the subsequent videos use the same um, principles to do bigger calculations. So let's take a very simple question right here. Let's take a 78 multiplied by 6, a, a, a double digit number multiplied by a single digit number and the left side of the pane which I am writing at right now will be showcasing the fundamental method, the regular school method which we do. First thing which we do right here is multiply it 8 by 6. This is our first step as we know and this is 48. So we write down an 8 here, we carry a 4. Is that what we do? Yeah, that's what we do. And then subsequently we multiply 6 by 7 and then we add 42, 42 is 6 times 7 and add this to that 4, 4 plus 42 and the answer is 468. This is definitely uh, the way in which we do our calculations to a certain extent or the other and um, let's look at what are the features of this particular method which we have right in front of us. The features of this method are that we are multiplying numbers from the right side to the left side. So when in the 78, we are beginning from eight and going all the way to seven. And this is, let's say, the place where we can improve because as you know, we write our language from the left side to the right side. I mean, at least the English speaking audience right there. And we are usually oriented towards looking at an answer from the left side to the right side. So when you're asked for a quick multiplication of 78 times six, the problem with how you calculate it in your head is the reason why this is because you need to start off from the right, take a carry, remember the right digit, go all the way and then do your multiplication. And what mental calculators would want to do or let's say speed calculation people would want to do is to straight away come up with the answer for which I'll be showcasing the way in which I go about this. And this is, let me write the six in a better way. Yeah. So this fundamentally, this is different in this way that we start from the left side and go all the way to the right side. So let's see how that goes. We, um, the first step here in this is to multiply seven by six. The seven is the leftmost element. So the number, and then we multiply seven by six. And we write that down here, 42, right? That's the, let me write down, write that down in a smaller size so that we have space. So 42. And then uh, the second thing is to multiply eight by six. And then we write down this right below this in a step format. So I would call this a step format because we leave a digit because since seven is in the tenth place, eight is in the unit place, there is one shift. So this is the shift uh, which we have. And uh, that's how we do it. So we basically start from the left corner. We write down individual multiplications which we have and shift each digit, shift by each digit. And once we add these up, what does this come to be? 468. 
So you might think that there is not a significant difference between the left side and the right side, but let me assure you, there is a lot of difference because you will see that, see that when we are challenging and doing uh, bigger questions in, in subsequently, that this fundamental difference in looking at numbers from the left to right can make your calculations lightning quick. And this is how I do it. Um, let's clear the page and let look at, let's look at whether this is something which is possible for us to adopt even in, in, in let's say bigger numbers. Let's take 357 multiplied by what, what do we take? Let's say, let's say eight. All right, sure. So uh, 357 times eight, what is our first step? Our first step, let me mark my first step with the red color. The first step is gonna be eight times three. The second step is gonna be eight times five. And the third step is gonna be seven times eight. Well, let's, let me write the results down. Eight times three is 24. 8 times 5 is 40 with one shift and the other shift which we have 8 times 7 is a 56. Now what do we have to do? We just have to add these things up. Let me write the total down for you. Is You start from the right or the left, not a big deal. We get a 2856. So why does this work? It's because we are looking at numbers as they are 24 is nothing but 2440 here with the shift is nothing but 400 and the step method makes us visualize this in that way where our initial multiplication is this as we speak, speak about represents 300 times 8 this multiplication right here represents 50 times 8 and this multiplication right here represents 7 times 8. And this is a very good way because we are looking at number system as, um, as a base 10 system. And this makes us do our calculations real, real quick. So let's look at the same question and let's look at a question which is similar. And let's try to do, do this mentally, the same very calculation, right? Let's take 75 times 6. What you would do initially if you were using the orthodox method is take six times five, zero, okay, three must be carried, six into seven, all right, 42, okay, I lost it there, yeah. So uh, what we're gonna do here is seven times six is 42, since it's a tens, it's 420, five times six is 30, 420, 30, it's 450. So how do you visualize it? 42, 30, 450. I mean, the two methods in two ways in which you look at it, you either remember, visualize numbers 4, 2, 3, 0, 2 and 3 add up together, so it's 450. That's how you go about it. I mean, how do I do it myself? Let me give you a small example. And so 57 times 5. So what I think is 5 times 5 is 25. This is 35. 5 and 3 are going to be below each other. So that's going to be 285. And let's look at relatively bigger questions like let's say let's look at um let's look at something which you guys can do while we see is say that's like 754 multiplied by the number eight that doesn't look like an eight yeah. give me a moment 754 times eight there my eight is horrible yeah 754 times eight so um what do we do 56, 40, 32. If we add these up, 2, 3, 0, 1, 6. 6, 0, 3, 2 is our answer. And uh, the, the way in which you make this entire calculation in your head, without in your, in your brain, without actually writing this down, is when you look at the question in this very way. So when there's 75 times 3, how do I go about it? I look at 21. And then I look at 15, 21, 15, and the one and one are colliding with each other. So I can just fundamentally look at this this way, where I say one and one add together. So it's 225. So I can be looking at this in this very fashion where we are basically using the same step pattern, but we're using it um, when we are writing them linearly uh, there. So let's, let's have a representation for the same. Let's say every time there is a step, we represent that with this. All right, so so that we we know that the middle two digits are the ones which we need to add. So um, if you look at the 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 this is let's look at let's say let, let me choose a color which I've not chosen yet. Fifty four times seven, right? So I'm going to write a thirty five. I'm going to write a step, and I'm going to write a twenty eight. This is 
right there in my head right now, which which basically is 35, 28 this way. So I write this down this way, and 35 times 28. So every time there's a step, you just add the subsequent digits. 5 plus 2 is 378. That's pretty much it. Now let's even abstract this out and not write the step uh, which I've written there. So let's uh, look at a question where let's let's take let's take 14 times 9 or let's let's take something bigger than this let's take 23 times 7 so in our head 14 21 7 times 2 is 14 this is 21 14 21 there's a step between 4 and 2 so 2 and 4 come together so it's 161 i hope you got that right so uh, how do you extend this to bigger numbers? So let's take a bigger number, um, something, something in, in three digits, three, five, seven, six. The fun part about this is that the steps don't, uh, you don't have to visualize all of them at once. So that that is a bonus which we have right there, is that we don't really have to uh, have to visualize these together so there is so let me let me get you to understand what i what i mean by this so 8 times 3 is 24 24 uh, the next subsequent thing is 40 56 and 48 and what did i say it was the operation in between it's the step operator and what did i say about it you just combine these two here and then you see that you can continue with this so let's start off and write the answer, right? Two, four, step four is four right there. And uh, zero and five become a five. Six and four become a 10. So this basically carries on to this. And then there's a zero and then there's an eight. So every time there's a step, whenever, let's say the good example here, it's good that this came up. Six and four combined, so it's zero and one. So 10, so this carries on to the previous one, which is this. So uh, let's, let me do one last example for you guys so that 354 times 7. I'm not sure if I've taken the same number before. I have some, um, some inclination towards 354 as a number. Let's see. So you do 21, 35, 28. These combine. These combine. It's 2, 4, 7, 8. That's pretty much it. So when I look at 354, what I do? 21, 35, 28. So I, I, I just go with the 21 and the 35 first and then i look at it 31 35 is probably going to give me 245 245 and 28 what does that give me 245 and 28 5 and 2 together 2 4 7 8 so that's the way in which i go about this and let me show you the power of looking at numbers this very way so let's take a number um which is let's not uh, let me take a relatively large number right there nine seven three five two seven multiplied by let's take five let's take a, a five there so how do i do how do i go about it is 45 35 45 and 35 together is a 485 so four eight are fixed and then there is five five and 15 so let me let me write down so that I'm not confusing you guys. So here let me 45, 35, 15, 25, 10, 35. That's it. I'm right there at my answer. So the answer is 4, 8, 6, 7, 6, 3, 5. There we are, four, eight, six, seven, six, three, five. And how do I do it in my brain? 45, 35, 485, 485, 15, 4865, 4865, 25, 488, 4865, 25, 487, 48675, 48675, 10, 48676, 0, 48676, 35, 487635. And that should be the end of today's um, small bit to which I had to say. So let's give this a try and I want you to go ahead and try the following 56 times 7 how do you go about it we've done this already the same very question but let, let's see 69 times 8 how do you do it I think these are things right there at you so that we give you a try 571 times 3 
at least these give give these a try and i'll be joining you with how we use this the fundamental methods of understanding the left to right multiplication in making this um something which is wired right there in your head so that multiplications can be as much fun like they were never before so that's pretty much about it thanks for joining in um thanks for joining in my class today my, my I'm, I'm not i don't i don't really like the nomenclature of a class so i mean the nomenclature saying that it's a class let's thanks for joining in today and i hope you really like it and i'm signing off thank you and that's me drawing a happy face and i'm banu prakash nilakanta banu prakash and i am the fastest human calculator in the world